This is Module 6, Lesson 1. In this lesson, we'll be using metric measurement to model the decomposition of one whole into tenths. Let's start looking at this problem where we have 10 bags of rice. And added together, they equal the weight of one kilogram. So let's draw a tape diagram showing the total weight of one kilogram. And we'll divide it up into tenths. So that one bag would be one tenth of a kilogram. Two bags would be two tenths, three bags would be three tenths, and so forth. Then let's draw a number line that matches up with our tape diagram. And we'll start with zero kilograms and end up with with one whole. Now, as we count on our number line, we could count by tenths in fractions. One tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, and ten tenths would be equal to one. Now, we can also represent these tenths in decimal form. We read the decimal the same way as a fraction. We write the decimal as a zero in the ones place to show there's no whole number part. A dot that's called a decimal point that tells that's, that's the beginning of the fractional part. And a one to show one tenth. And we read this as one tenth. This is read at one tenth. This is read as one tenth. We can write the next one as two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, and ten tenths would be one. We can write as a decimal point in a zero to show that there's no fractional part. And this is equivalent to just writing as one. If we want to write this as an addition sentence, we can do that. Two bags of rice plus eight bags of rice would be equal to, in fraction form, two bags of rice would weigh two tenths of a kilogram. Eight bags of rice would weigh eight tenths of a kilogram. So together they would weigh, weigh 10 tenths or one kilogram. We can write this in decimal form as two tenths of a kilogram plus eight tenths of a kilogram equals 10 tenths or one whole kilogram. Let's look at another problem. Let's say that we're going to draw a centimeter ruler, but we're going to draw it not to scale. In other words, we're, this is obviously larger than one centimeter. We're drawing it bigger than it really is. So let's say this is the zero point on the centimeter ruler, and this is one. The one half point, that line's always a little bit longer. And then we divide into tenths. For one centimeter. If an object is this long on our ruler, we would say it's three tenths of a centimeter long. If we'd want to extend it 
so that it be comes to 1, we would need to add 7 tenths of a centimeter to equal 1 full centimeter. Let's use this to work some problems in our problem set. So starting with number one, it says to shade the first seven units of the tape diagram. Let's do that. Then it says to count by tenths to label the number line using a fraction and a decimal for each point. So we have a number line that matches our tape diagram. So our first mark here would be one tenth as a decimal, one tenth as a fraction. The next point would be one tenth as a decimal, two tenths as a decimal, two tenths as a fraction. Stop the video and continue the pattern to the end of the number line. So this would be three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths. and then 10 tenths is equal to one. And then finally it says to circle the decimal that represents the shaded part. So the shaded part ends here. If we go down, we see that it's seven tenths. Moving on to number two. It says write the amount of water in each, in each in fraction form and decimal form, and then shade the last bottle to show the correct amount. So pause the video and try these three examples. For the first one, our liter bottle is divided into tenths, so our denominator is 10. We see on our measure, one, two, three, four, five, six tenths are shaded, and we write that as a decimal. In the next one, again, the whole is divided into 10 pieces, and we have five, six, seven, eight tenths, and as a decimal. And it, in the last one, it tells us that we want to shade nine tenths, so we're going to come up here, shade nine tenths, and write it as a fraction. Moving on, number three, we're doing the same thing with weight in tenths of a kilogram. So pause the video and try these three examples. The first one shows four tenths of a kilogram and we write it as a fraction. The second one, we have eight tenths of a kilogram as a fraction, so we're gonna write it as a decimal. And the last one, we see on the scale this is five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight tenths of a kilogram and as a decimal, eight tenths of a kilogram. Number four, we're looking at centimeters. Pause the video and try the three questions for number four. So we see our little bug is one, two, three, four, five tenths of a centimeter long, five tenths of a centimeter in decimal form. And how far will he need to walk before he reaches one centimeter? He would have to go five centimeters more. In number five, we have some number sentences with missing add-ins. So we start with eight tenths centimeters and we would need two tenths of a centimeter to get to one full centimeter. And in decimal form, two tenths. You try B and C. We have two tenths. We need to add eight tenths in order to get one whole. 
For C, we have 6 tenths. We need to add 4 tenths as a decimal, 4 tenths, to reach a full centimeter. Then moving on to number 6, we're going to match the way we read the number, the word form, to the fractional form, to the decimal form. So go ahead and pause the video and try number 6. For 6, 5 tenths is equal to 5 tenths in fraction form, is equal to 5 tenths in decimal form, 6 tenths in fraction form, and 6 tenths in decimal form, 9 tenths in fraction form, to 9 tenths in decimal form, and 2 tenths in fraction form, to 2 tenths in decimal form. And that concludes lesson number 1.